So now the next question that comes to us, something we see every single day, is pregnancy mentioned in the Quran? The answer is yes, subhanAllah. It is he who created you from one soul, nafsin wahid, and created from it its mate. Why? That he might dwell in security, safety, happiness with her. Now the pregnancy. And when he, the man, covers her, she carries a light burden. He didn't say pregnancy. Light pregnancy, early pregnancy. And the pregnancy continued. What happens? Now she's happy. Now it's obvious. Both, father and the mother, turn to Allah, Rabbahuma. Ya Allah, if she's going to give us a righteous child, we will be grateful to you. What happens? Allah responded, gave them the righteous child. Made a partner to Allah. Although he gave them what he wanted. Allah is exalted above what they associate with him. What do we learn from here? Number one, the Quran did not leave anything uncovered. Sometimes mentioned it in details and sometimes just a little bit. Here details. Now man and a woman, but now the intimate relationship. SubhanAllah, this is a book where mentioned intimate relationship. This is the intimate relationship between a husband and a wife. And Allah used tabashaha, it's a very eloquent word to tell that it's not only a physical need, it's even a spiritual need, it's an emotional need. It's covered completely. Then what happens with this? Why this why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this? One of the reasons for it is pregnancy. فَلَمَّا تَغَشَّهَا حَمَلَتْ حَمْلًا خَفِيفًا حَمَلَتْ pregnancy carried حَمْلًا خَفِيفًا light carry meaning four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks she doesn't even sometimes doesn't know yet she is pregnant and then فَلَمَّا أَثْقَلَتْ now later on 20 weeks and above the woman starts feeling she's pregnant 28 weeks, seven months now she's heavy nine months, 36 weeks up to 40 very heavy Sleeping becomes difficult. Some of the women even breathing becomes difficult. Now they knew that the pregnancy is going. The baby is there. Now they turned to Allah and they said, They made a covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, you give us a righteous, healthy, sweet, nice, cute, pretty. You want a girl? You always wanted a girl. You turn to Allah and says, Ya Allah, give me a girl or a boy. We will be grateful. Allah responded, gave you what you want. And then he says, you made a partner with me. So let's pause here. What's partners? Allah gave me a child. The child becomes more important than Allah. I disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please my child or to raise my child, or to give my child what he or she wants, I disobey him, then I am not grateful. Because gratefulness simply is using what Allah gave you in a way that pleases him. He gave me the child, I begged him, give me a righteous one. He did. Give me a healthy one, he did. Give me a girl, he did. And then that child becomes the reason I disobey Allah. I make the child equal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us sometimes even more. And here Allah says, فَتَعَالَ اللَّهُ عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ Allah is exalted. You want to make anything equal to Allah? Do it. Allah is way exalted about that. Pregnancy here, that what Allah is telling me and you, it's every natural things you see in front of you is a reminder to you that Allah is aware of it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it happen. And Allah, in another verse in the Quran, He said, anything in the uterus, Allah knows. Allah knows every uterus. Just imagine this. 
every uterus every uterus of a woman what does it carry وما تغيض الارحام وما تزداد what the pregnancy will be lost or it will be multiple twins or triplets subhanallah take home messages quran has everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the words he uses in the quran not only teaches me but teaches me so much in depth the intimate relationship he used cover he used console he used love and he used spiritual need and emotional need the most important thing is everything allah gives us is a blessing and i need to use this blessings in the way that pleases him otherwise allah is not in need of me being grateful may allah make us among the grateful